Hi, my name's Tyler, and this is my Unit 7 journal. Um, for our Unit 7 journal, we're supposed to reflect on presentation aids. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go over the general guidelines that we're supposed to go to over from our uh, Chapter 13 reading. Um, it says, whatever type of aid you choose, make sure everyone can hear or see it. And I feel like I pretty effectively did that whenever I was giving my... Uh, unit six demonstration because I held it out in front of the camera for everyone to see and I sorry tried to explain um, what each individual piece was on the tourniquet itself it also says to display visuals only when you discuss them uh, I feel like I did a fairly decent job at that as well because I didn't bring the tourniquet out until it was actually time for me to use it This is to talk to your audience and not your visual. I feel like that was very easy for me to do because I wasn't trying to uh, look at a screen or anything. There were some parts I feel though, whenever I was putting the tourniquet on his arm where I was kind of focused on the tourniquet and trying to make sure that it was doing what I wanted it to do instead of looking at the audience and doing it, which it's a very, it's a hands-on skill, so. Uh, it says to rehearse using your aids. If you can't use the actual equipment, at least visualize yourself using it. For that, I have plenty of rehearsal time using tourniquets. I get tested on how to use them all the time to make sure that I actually do know how to use them. Um, and then it also says, whenever machines are involved, have a plan B. What will you do if the equipment fails? Luckily, I didn't have any machinery, but I guess uh, along those routes, if the tourniquet that I were using were broken, uh, I had, we, as medics, you always have multiple tourniquets on hand, as well as other medical supplies. I had plenty of medical supplies I could have pulled from. Uh, and then we're also supposed to discuss how we're going to approach the creation of the PowerPoint required for the Unit 9 speech. I'm going to try to make sure that all of my stuff, you know, I have one main topic per slide. I'm also going to try to make sure the stuff that I have is very clear and concise. I don't want my material to be confusing anybody because if they're confused, you know, they're going to be worrying more about what they're confused on than my overall topic, which I don't want to happen. So it, in conclusion, I do feel like I did a relatively good job with uh, the visual aid guidelines that we went over in the chapter 13 textbook. And I also feel like I'm well prepared now for our unit nine assignment. And I think it's going to go very well. Thank you.